made many references to the Scottish Government and the Scottish First Minister. I would ask this chamber to acknowledge that we are talking about a law that was passed by the Scottish Parliament by a significant majority, and I would hope everyone will acknowledge that. And I would note also that the First Minister of Wales has said that he would like to see the same provisions introduced in Wales and will be asking the government for the right to do so. <coughs> But whilst I uh, entirely sympathise with the noble lady Baroness Chapman's desire for a compromise and talks, uh, and this statement says, and indeed the noble lord the minister has repeated now, that the government wants to talk to the Scottish government to get around the table and come to a compromise, but it is arguing that it is impossible to have different gender recognition certificate uh, systems in different parts of the UK. If this is the case, then what kind of compromise is the government going to offer? How can the bill be amended rather than just being thrown out if that's what the government's demanding? Well, that just indicates the sensitivity of, of the matter we're dealing with. And um, the, uh, on the face of it, the, uh, the Scottish Government bill allows the Equality Act to continue because it works within the architecture of the Equalities Act, the GRC. What the Scottish Government bill has done has changed the criteria for receiving or applying for that, for that GRC. And that has significant impact, uh, as we've discussed. And therefore, uh, it, 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 it's something that will need to be discussed in detail, need to be discussed sensitively. But at the end of the day, the issue we're dealing with now, right in this chamber right now, is that we, the government, don't believe, or we believe it would be significantly complicated to have two different gender recognition regimes in the UK. And that, that will create a lot of problems in Scotland and England that, up until now, at all points through the discussion, as uh, Noble Lord McConnell said, was considered quite considerably that the Scottish system felt it should remain within the UK system. And we don't see any evidence why that has changed. 